Well, I finally bought a PlayStation 3. Took me long enough. Well, I always buy things after they're not popular anymore. Like, uh, last year I bought a Wii because the Wii U was out. And now the PS4 is out, so I buy a PS3. Uh, I, I bought two games. I bought Skyrim. This is, like, the most awesome game I've ever played. Uh, I'm actually, I'm gonna do a blog post about this because this is, they got a lot to say about this game. Um, I got a second game. Um, I'm a little upset. I actually played this on a friend's, I played, remember, it's Mercenaries 2. I played this on a friend's console years ago, and I really liked it. I played the first one on PS2. I had it. And so when I saw they had, the, I was going to get this, I was going to get Skyrim and GTA 5, but they only had that one. I'm just going to get two games for now because I'm moving. And then when I move, when I get there, I'm going to start building my PS3 library. So I just needed, I just wanted two games for now. So I, I, I chose this because I knew it was fun and I liked it and I played it before. But it won't work. I get to the main menu and it freezes and I have to comp I have to like turn the console off and turn it back on and uh, I looked it up and I was like what's wrong I cleaned the disk it's not working and I found out that EA games the people that make it are apparently not the smartest people in the world uh, you can't play it anymore because it's trying to connect to the servers and they closed the servers down. Apparently you can play it offline, but it automatically connects to me. I even, I even, um, I even, um, turned my modem off just so it would be forced to go offline and it still froze. I don't know how to make it go offline. I even press triangle on the when you go on the disc thing on the consoles main menu. Yeah, I, I don't know all the terminologies and stuff. I just got this like two days ago. So like the, the PS3 menu thing, you go on the disc thing on the game option, and you press triangle for options. I didn't see anything for going offline. Um, so and it automatically does it. So. I, I'm, I'm just going to take it back to GameStop tomorrow. I don't know if it's possible to play it anymore. If it's not, then EA really needs to, really needs to look at how they manage things because that's not right. Um, yeah, I, I really like Rockstar games. I uh, I've played almost all of the GTA games. I even played the Grand Theft Auto Advance. Uh, it's probably the only time Nintendo released a Grand Theft Auto game. Uh, it's very short. Uh, the story on that one is just. Hey, quick, we need to get out of Liberty City right now, but quick, we just need to do a couple of missions on our way out. And it's just like two or three missions, and then it's over. And I was like, oh, well, that was short. It was a top-down game. Of course, it's, it's for the Game Boy Advance, so it's not going to be long. But, uh, like, you know. The reason I said that, because it probably seems random, I was like, yeah, I like Rockstar games. Next subject! No, uh... Because I was gonna get Grand Theft Auto V, uh, and I, I'm a huge fan of the film noir. I, I don't know how to pronounce. I've never heard it pronounced. I'm just assuming it's noir, noir, film noir, N O I R. Yeah. Um. I'm obsessed with it, and I don't know how to pronounce it. That's like a lot of J-pop songs! <laughs> um, but, uh, 
you probably know where this is going. Rockstar film noir. I'm obviously talking about Bully. No, uh, <laughs> yeah, that one, that game is also fun. There's the GTA series. Always good. Uh, Bully is amazing. I play that on the Wii. Did I say Pulley? Yes, Pulley. You use the Wiimote and the nunchuck and you just pull. And you gotta lift stuff up. No, uh, film the L.A. Noir. I think. L.A. Noir. I'm just gonna say Noir. L.A. Noir. When I. I wanted to play that even before it was released. I saw. I basically just knew the concept. They're making a film. I mean, they're making a game based on that concept of film noir, detective stories, and stuff. And so I wanted. To, I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna play it." But I deliberately avoided gameplay trailers because uh, I wanted to. I didn't want to know anything about it until I played it. Um, and where I got. Oh, See, I feel stupid now. Everyone watching this will be like, I know it! <laughs> He's like, yeah, because I totally am. Um, but I got this because I played it once and I liked it. And it doesn't even work. And the place I got those at had L.A. Noir. And I was like, no, I haven't played it. I don't know if I like it. And so, out of curiosity, I went on YouTube, and I looked up gameplay trailers. I broke my little little promise thing to no one in particular, and I watched a gameplay trailer, and it was, uh, I think it was an IGN gameplay trailer, where it was like a voiceover. It sounded, it was like so voiceover-y. Uh, play Alainor! Uh, this is the gate. This is the story. Uh, it's, like, it's like so out of. It just seems so trailery, if that makes any sense. And um, it was talking about the story. And, uh, I always just assumed it was this one detective story, like at the beginning, someone dies, and you got to pick up the clues, and then work your way to the end of the game, and you find out who did it. And then it talks about how it's actually, like, you work your way up the system, and you have a bunch of cases, and I was like, I want to play that really bad. And I feel stupid now, because I got this game instead of getting L.A. I could have I could have been a contender. No, no, I'm not gonna do that. I promise. I promise I wouldn't do that. Uh, no. Um. Actually, I have two copies of Skyrim. I have. I have it on PS3. And anyone who follows my channel, which is probably like two people, um, both of them are my friends. Uh that I send the links to, and they may or may not watch the videos, um, you would know that my computer isn't exactly the best ever. Um, and I say, um, a lot. Um, no. I have a crappy computer. So why did I think that this would work? It didn't. I went to install it and I was like, you need to update your video drive, your video car, or drivers, or video drivers. Whatever it was, I forgot what it was. I tried selling. I bought it for $70. Walmart, I bought it from Walmart because... Because I, I go to Walmart. Yes, I still go to Walmart. Even though I made that video exclusively saying, I'm done with you, Walmart! Screw you! And then, like, the next week, I was back there. And I was like, hey, I'm back. <laughs> Just ignore that video I made. And I, I got this for $70. And they don't do returns on items over 50 apparently. 
Either that's true or they just really don't like me. Probably the latter. Um, I tried selling it and people were like, no, you probably used the code. I'm like, no, I didn't, I promise. It's not even in here. Oh, yeah, see, there's the code, right? They had other games there that I know the names of, but I don't know anything about them. And I know once I list some of these games, people are going to be like, You don't know anything about them? Well, see, I never really had a reason to know anything about them, because I never had a PS3 until now, and I am not getting an Xbox, so I'm not even, I'm not even going to joke about that. Getting an Xbox! Okay. Um, some of these games, I, I know the name, like, I know, like, I know of them, and I know that a lot of people have a lot of great things to say about them. Um, I'll just say them. Like, there's Fallout 3. I, I that one is probably the game I hear the most praise towards, but I don't, really, they had it, they had it there really cheap, and I could have got it, but as I said, I didn't know anything about it, so I, I didn't, I just wanted two games to last me until I move to Ohio, and I didn't really, I didn't have hundreds of dollars to just throw out there, <laughs> like, here, take my money, <laughs> I... Uh, so, I didn't get it because I didn't know anything about it. And there's also, like, Bioshock, and then there's... I'm trying to remember the names. Infamous, Injustice... Red Dead Redemption is another Rockstar game I wanted. They had that, but it was like... I was like, how much is... Never mind! <laughs> so... Well, I can't think of the names of the other ones, but I know them. There's like God of War, Assassin's Creed. They had like a bunch of Assassin's Creed. I know there's like, they just released like Assassin's Creed 4, but I, I saw like eight different Assassin's Creed titles. I was like, <laughs> are, they, are they keeping count like like the Grand Theft Auto games? One, two, three, Vice City, San Andreas, Liberty City Stories, Vice City Stories, four. <laughs> Yeah, that teach the kids how to count. So, basically, what I'm asking here is, you know, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm really new to this whole PS3 thing. Like, I don't even know what a PlayStation is. I thought it was like a preschool thing, like a PlayStation in the corner that you go and you have your blocks, your whack-a-mole thing. Um, okay, but basically what I'm getting to is, I made suggestions for when I move, so that I know, mm, okay, so I, I need to word this right, everyone thinks of things differently, well, that's common sense, I... I never know what kind of games I'll be into. Like I'm, I always thought I wouldn't be into a game like Skyrim, but it's basically Zelda for adults. And yeah, so I'm really stalling here. I'm gonna have to edit this. Down. I need suggestions on what games I should get because I don't know what is good on PS3. I already know some of the games I will be getting. There'll be... I was gonna get PS... I was gonna... I was gonna get Grand Theft Auto 4 and play that and then buy Grand Theft Auto 5. But... I... I hear so many complaints about Grand Theft Auto 4. Some people say it's even the worst game in the series. And... The GTA 5 is the best in the series after San Andreas. And so, I'm thinking about just getting Grand Theft Auto 5. And I'll probably. I'll probably get Arkham. The Ark. 
well, Arkham 1 and 2, uh, Asylum and City. Um, I actually played Origins. My little brother got a PlayStation 3 for Christmas, and it was a it was a Last of Us bundle that, for some reason, came with Arkham Origins. And so, I'll, oh, Last of Us. I watched him play the inter the beginning of Last of Us, and that I instantly was like, I don't know what this game's about, but I want it. It was like so cinematic, I guess. It was so awesome. Uh, it was, I've never seen anything like that. It like, in most games, it like switches, it go, like it cuts to cutscene and then comes back to gameplay. And like, it's interwoven, and if you miss something, you miss it. And it was just, I mean, the, <laughs> this shows how out of the loop I am. I'm all like excited about that, and p people watching this are probably like, um, yeah, games have been like that for 10 years. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> My last video was a let's play of an Atari game, and the one before that was a let's play of an, of an NES game. I'm not exactly up to date on video games. I don't know. Uh, I'm probably going to get Dead Island, because uh, my little brother has that too, and it was fun. Just like, You pick up any item at all, and you just like kill zombies with it. And it was one of those, I, I like games like that. I want to, I, I want at least one mindless game. Uh, like, Skyrim is very deep and complex, and you gotta really, The Elder Scrolls has, like, a deep, rich history, and, and, yeah, I want to know all of that. But at the same time, sometimes I just want to pop in a game and just, like, kill a big horde of zombies.